our mission, there are a lot of missions here, but is to really engage our youth in global citizenship, to get different lenses, geographic, economic, political, cultural, and ethical lenses, and really to see the lens of humanity. We're here not only to work and bring fresh water to women and allow women to get the equal opportunity that they deserve, but for our youth in the United States and around to see how important it is for us to work as one. That's what life is about. And getting dirty in the process is a lot of fun. And it's just an incredible honor to get to know the people of Nepal, to work with the girls, to work shoulder to shoulder together. And uh, just to see, uh, to me, I think every youth in the world should be here and do this. Uh, thank you. It's, it's very interesting and I'm very excited. I'm sure it'll taste very good. <laughs> okay, so we were making dalbat with our host family and we um, shelled peas and we, pe we peeled potatoes and then um, put rice on the fire. And it's a neat experience because I've never made this food before. And we can go home and make it for our family, which will be exciting. Uh, my name is Warren, or my Sherpa name is Pimba, and uh, being with the host family has been great so far. We've learned a lot about the language and the culture, and we got to cook tonight, which was awesome, because you get to see how different it is from our gas stoves, automatic cooking things, and all of that. You know, you really have to get down there and do it yourself, and um, we cooked Sherpa stew, and that involved like you made the flat bread and put it in and stirred it and everything. Um, and it's a lot more work than back home having to do it. You know, everything does it for you. Uh, it's a great experience. Um, and tonight we got to experience some cooking, which was really fun. And um, when you eat the food, it actually seems relatively simple um, and delicious. But when you're making it, you learn that it's pretty complicated. Uh, this is Ekdam Mito. Absolutely delicious. And the good news is that we helped cook it yeah. with our, our satis and, yeah, and our family. And um, absolutely delicious. It's so good. Very hearty after a long day of work. It's delicious. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> I am helping the small world with... Um, building a trench for clean drinking water for the girls down at the Girls Empowerment Project. And we are making it deeper so that it's safer and lasts longer. We're getting a little dirty, but we're having fun using teamwork. So it's good, we're, we're finally getting the work done. It feels good. I feel great, a little sore from all this work, but it's very fun. Um, this is our sixth day here, second day working on this pipe. It's a lot harder today because it's all dry. Yesterday we got all muddy, but we're getting there. It's awesome. It's just so astounding to me that we're given this opportunity and everyone should take advantage of it. And already we've been here for four or five days and already I've been seeing my life being changed. Uh, last summer when my mom actually told me that I should go on one of the trips but I didn't have enough time for during my summer and then all throughout this year I had been talking to Mr. Gray or Ryan and Bob Bandoni about the trips and um, one of the upperclassmen had told me that the Nepal trip was probably the most fun time he's had and so I definitely decided to come on this trip because of him and um, like he said it's just amazing to be here building the water pipe actually doing the work it uh makes you feel really good about yourself and um it's a great time i'm juliana raquetta i'm 17 years old and i'm from austin texas it's awesome seeing them working every day and loving life just loving everything they do they even love to work and they actually take their time doing things and they take the time to enjoy things um I guess I'll talk about the hostel too. Um, the hostel is a lot of fun. The girls were so sweet. They're really nice. My name is Jack Moody. I am from Austin, Texas. I am 18 years old and I'm going to be a senior in high school. This was my first time in Nepal and it was a fantastic experience. 
working on the work site with the water projects, the hostel, and the family life was great. I really liked my family. I had two little boys named Karma and Passan who were always full of energy after walking probably two miles to school. They come back and want to play soccer and basketball and all different kinds of sports. And they loved learning English. They loved to learn everything. My name is Nathan Mashad. I'm a teacher from Austin, Texas. And this is my first time in Nepal. I'm here with 15 students and one of my coworkers. And I wanted to talk about the experience of being here. Um, it's certainly been one of the most challenging experiences of my life. Um, to be really pushed out of my norms in terms of how I live. Um, and it's been very rewarding uh, to watch my students realize that there's not just one way of life in the world, um, that the world is a really big place. And seeing all of my students adopt the Nepalese lifestyle, taking their time to do things, enjoying the day, and really enjoying the relationships um, with the people around them has been really incredibly rewarding. The work has been hard. Um, and I think that in the end, we've given a little bit to the village here in Solokumbu. This is my first time in Nepal, and I have been absolutely amazed by the hospitality of the people here. I've been to several places around the world, and the Nepalese people are by far the nicest, kindest, good-hearted people I've ever met. Um, we. We were here with a bunch of our students and they took us up to a mountain, which was a hard hike and a few of us wanted to give up a couple of times, but they got us all up the mountain and, and cooked us this amazing picnic and we all sat together in a, in a big circle and, and sang and danced and shared stories and, and realized that we all had this human experience um, on top of this mountain together, even though we were separated by a half a world. The, the work site that we're at um, was hard work. A lot of us have not done manual labor before, so taking axes and shovels and digging a trench from a top of a hill down to the village to have a water source for the, for the hostel was, was tough. I came home several times quite sore. I think I'm still pretty sore right now. Um, but it was, it was so rewarding to see everybody work so hard and be so happy about about it. I, I can't possibly thank the Nepali people for, for everything they've given me. Um, there's no way that we could give, give to them what, what they've given us and I want to thank everybody here for the, one of the most amazing experiences of my lifetime. Namaste, Meronam Ryan Ho and I'm here at the in beautiful Salari, the Women's Empowerment Hostel, and I'm here to ask a few questions. So, um, May, if you're so kind, tell us your name. My name is Pema Rindisherva. My name is uh, Mamita Magar. I like reading and playing volleyball and making new friends. I want to be a good teacher. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Th these are the girls, special girls. And we're honored to be here, and thank you so much. Danyabad.